Okay, this next story is about a family that's come up with a Canadian innovation that just keeps getting higher and higher. And the best part is, it's going to save you a ton of money, assuming you need to move a shipping container. I'm confident. I think it's going to going to work well. I think we got the balance just right now. Not too high, not too high. Okay, do you want to tilt it back to you? Not too high. If the boys wreck my toys, <laughs> I wreck the boys. <laughs> All right, okay, up. Beautiful, Grant. Well done. Stunning, stunning. Keep coming, you're clear. Beautiful, yeah, you're clear. well done. My name is Douglas Duncan, and today is one of those make it or break it type of days. We are putting our company Excalibur to the ultimate test. For years, my family, my brother, my dad, and myself have been working on innovations, and it's been hit and miss with over 40 patents in our family name. It's, it's, it's been tough and to finally see something come together and be labeled as Canadian innovation is, it's, it's phenomenal, it's rewarding. Today we will be demonstrating the efficiency of our self-lifting shipping containers against the conventional shipping container crane system. Containers are built for mobility, especially in the oil fields or in disaster relief containers are constantly moved around the world. And um, creating an efficient way to move a container in these applications is, I think, key. A self-lifting container consists of four hydraulic legs that lift and lower the container. Our system is an ISO approved container. In fact, our 20-foot container has been rated the strongest container in the world, which can hold 26 tons. The hydraulic system is all folded within its original transportation footprint so it can be transported on train, rail or air and by road. Traditional way is um, having a large overhead crane come to site that might have to travel kilometers, um, use a lot of fuel to get to site because they're carrying the additional weight of the crane. The process is very tiring and uh, it can be very expensive. In some cases in Canada about $1,500 just to move a simple container. You know, our system costs about a dollar to move up and down. After the 15th load of our container, you would have actually have paid your container off. It's a self-lifting container capable of lifting about 30 tons. These cars that aren't tied down. I've got to prove that if somebody else has a valuable cargo inside a container, that the cargo is not going to run away. We call this a cage match with our new system to challenge this 70 ton crane over here. We're going to see who, who ends up winning. Start! Okay, go. The system is either controlled manually, each individual leg is controlled independently, or alternatively, we have our self-leveling system that balances out the container just evenly. Even under load, it comes down smoothly and parallel. It's beautiful. Uh, the system's working great. Um, our crane friends, I don't even think they've started yet. We're almost at the height to reverse the car and get out of here, so... No, we're, we're well ahead of them. Bring that truck now, that lady can come in. <laughs> you can start lifting it down, Grant. She'll be okay. This is just a safety lock. Just to lock it in place while it's enchanted. We're about 80% there, and I think the crane is probably about 30% into where they should be, yeah. So far, so good. I've never seen anything like this, and I think this is awesome. Really, it's going to fly hotkeys. Yeah. Woo! Oh. <laughs> oh, brilliant solo. Uh, it took us 13 minutes 50. Uh, we did a prior test that took us 11 minutes, but I think carrying a little extra weight, we can compensate for two extra additional minutes. Um, but great performance, excellent. Uh, if you have a look at the crane, it's still taking its time. So we outperformed them greatly, actually. It's a good day, very good day.